This is a major matchup for Jeff Wren at the Lucas Oil Nationals, all part of the NHRA Full Throttle Drag Racing Series. Tony Pedregon is already out in first round. That opens the door for Jeff Wren to take over that 10th spot. Well, first he's got to get around Tim Wilkerson, which is going to be tough. Now, if Jeff can do that, he'll have Paul Lee in the next round. And not to take anything away from Paul Lee, but he just doesn't have the car. That would be a good matchup for Jeff if he can get past Tim Wilkerson. But right now, that focus is going to be on getting around Tim. Well, and I talked to John Oberhofer, and they're not getting too far over center with getting overly aggressive here. They know they have to go A to B, hit that finish line first. So because of that, they say if they can run a 412, maybe just a little bit quicker, they say if they could run past by Tim Wilkerson, so be it. But they are planning definitely going A to B. Jeff Wren would have to get to the semifinals in order to move into that 10th and final spot in Funny Car. So it's one step at a time. And you see the reference that uh, was made there by Dave Reef. It would be Paul Lee that he faces if he can take down Tim Wilkerson. These two teams are very evenly matched. Any, on any given day, they can go out there and run a good, consistent number. Uh, the consistency's kind of been the problem for, for both of the teams, uh, more so for Jeff Rand, obviously. Good race. Oh, it's a great race, but Tim wow. Wilkerson takes the win. Tony Pendragon now has that spot. The 10th spot in the countdown to one. But it was a great race. Oh, boy, I'll tell you what, that, that was exciting there. I thought he had him. I really did. So Jeff Wren rolls to a stop, and we have uh, the field now set in the countdown to one for Funny Car. We take another look at pretty much dead even off of the starting line. Numbers on the racetrack, only three thousandths of a second difference off of the at the finish line in the laps time. One thousandth of a second difference for Jeff Wren on reaction time. You take a look at the Lucas Oil photo finish by 21 ten thousandths of a second or just over two thousandths of a second. Tim Wilkerson gets the win over Jeff Wren. Great race. And so now Tony Pedragon will put his name in that 10th position in Funny Car. And that field is now set. Still a position to go in Pro Stock and two to go in Pro Stock Motorcycle. So Tony Pedragon, who looked very nervous about the challenge by Jeff Arend, is now solidly in that 10th spot. Let's look at the Lucas Oil ladder for Funny Car as we look ahead now to the second round of eliminations. As we mentioned, it'll be Paul Lee and Tim Wilkerson. Bob Tasca has Bob Bodie. Other side of the ladder, Matt Hagen going up against Ray Charles. I mean, Jim Head. Matt Hagen will have the lane choice in that matchup. And Jack Beckman will have lane choice over Robert Hyde. And it must not feel very good for Jeff Aran. Right now, he's with Gary Gerald. Well, the timesheet has just been delivered to the hands of Jeff Wren, and 2000s was the determining factor. It's hard to believe that a race could come down that close, a matter of inches literally, putting an end to your hopes to get into the countdown. Tough pill to swallow? Yeah, it is, but you know, uh, several since I've been out here, I've had to earn everything. I never really got all that lucky, and it uh, seems like a lot of these races, when they're close, we just end up winning them, but you know what? We're, we're a lot further ahead than we were last year. Obviously, we wanted to get in the, uh, in the countdown. I mean, things look pretty good when uh, Paul Lee took out uh, Robert Height in the first round because we had to race him next, but uh, I can't say much about our DHL Optima Technicode car, Fisher, too. I mean, our guys are great workers. They busted their you-know-what for the last while, and uh, Timmy's a great guy, good friend of ours, and wish we would have gone our way, but it didn't. Thank you. All right, thank you. Good guy, though, Jeff Wren.